Hi, K1 crew. Today, we are going to read a book titled Captain Brock Firefighter by Andrea Del Blanco. This book is nonfiction because it's about a real person and you will learn facts about what a firefighter does. In this book, we will meet a firefighter named Captain Jackson Brock. You will learn what he does and what most firefighters do each day. What do you think you might read about this firefighter? Let's take a look at the back cover. It says, meet a firefighter. Captain Jackson Brock is a firefighter. He and his company work hard to help people. Read to find out all about what they do and how they do it. All right, let's read Captain Brock, firefighter. Firefighters keep us safe in a fire. Captain Jackson Brock is a firefighter. He helps people every day. He is happy and proud when he puts out fires. He is always ready to rescue people. Hot spot. It can get hotter than an oven in a fire, but that never stops Jackson from doing his job. Here's a picture of Captain Jack Brock with a label. That's how we know who it is. Sometimes when we draw pictures, we write labels on parts of the picture. When on duty, firefighters may live at a firehouse. Jackson spends many hours there. Sometimes he even sleeps at the firehouse. Hot spot. Just like at some homes, a firehouse may even have a dog who is a pet to all the firefighters. Do you know what kind of a dog that is? It's a Dalmatian, huh? Here's a picture of the firefighters sleeping at the firehouse. This makes me wonder what it would be like to sleep where I work. Although right now I do sleep where I work because I work from my house. Isn't that silly? But there have been times that I've wondered what it would be like to sleep in my classroom at school. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Not many people sleep at their jobs. Firefighters eat meals together. They take turns cooking the food. Jackson likes to cook all kinds of food on the grill. Hot spot. Many firefighters are great cooks. Some firefighters work as chefs after they stop fighting fires. Take a look at all that food they're cooking. Remember, it's sort of like they're cooking for a large family, isn't it? Firefighters must have to learn to get along well with each other. They spend a lot of time together. How is it kind of like having another family? Families do things like work and play together. Hmm. Fire trucks are built to help fight fires. Jackson's Firehouse has two kinds of fire trucks. One truck has lots of water and long, strong hoses. The other has tall ladders that can reach high up high. Hot spot, Jackson drives a ladder truck. So here's a photo of the hose truck. It's labeled hose truck. And here is what the hose looks like. It's much bigger than a garden hose that we have at home. And here is what the ladder truck looks like. See how high the ladder goes? And then they can rescue people from tall buildings. Firefighters and their trucks need to be ready to go. Jackson helps care for the fire trucks to be sure they work. The list shows some things he does to check the trucks. Checklist. Raise the ladders, check the hoses, flash the lights, test the sirens, start the engines. And again, there's the hose. A 
firefighters wear lots of safety gear. Jackson checks his gear. In a fire, his air tank and mask help him breathe. His other gear covers his body so he won't get burned. Hot spot. Jackson says when he's fully dressed, it feels as if he's wearing a big oven mitt. Hmm. Why do you think Captain Brock says he feels like he's wearing an oven mitt when he has it all on? If you weren't sure, this is what an oven mitt looks like. It's to protect your hand when you take something hot, a hot pan out of the oven. Or one like this. Let's take a look at all of the gear. There's a helmet, a jacket, air tank, mask, gloves, pants, boots. Firefighters have a lot of safety gear. That's equipment and clothes that they have to put on to protect them from fire and smoke. Firefighters need to move fast. When an alarm sounds, Jackson gets ready quickly. Then he runs to the truck. He turns on the lights and sirens as he drives out of the firehouse. Hot spot. Flashing red lights and sirens let everyone know to get out of the way. So if you are driving in a car on the road and you see the flashing lights, the flashing red lights of a fire truck, that means you need to pull off the side of the road so that the fire Fighters can get to the fire quickly. The next time you visit a firehouse near you, remember to say, thank you firefighters. Let's all read that last sentence together like we really mean it. Ready? Thank you firefighters. Why do you think the author ends the book this way? There's also a little note here on the back. It says acknowledgments. We would like to thank Captain Jackson Brock for his help on this book. He is a good friend and a great firefighter. We'd also like to thank the Patterson, New Jersey Fire Department for allowing us to visit. We think all firefighters are true heroes. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed hearing this story about a real firefighter. And we'll talk about some more community helpers later.